What's up guys, this is Fruit Castro, fashion and beauty photographer out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Today I'll be bringing you three tips on how to get started if you like to work with agency sign models. Tip number one, start out by building a strong and simple portfolio. I know, this is weird to say, as you probably want to work with pro models in order to build your portfolio. And it takes you to this weird dilemma of what came first, the chicken or the egg? You need models to build your portfolio, but then you need a portfolio in order to work with models. I know, it sucks, uh, but it's still part of the process. I think this is something we all had to go through at some point in time. But it's also important to acknowledge the models and agencies need to see what you're capable of creating when making the decision to allow you to test shoot with their models. So when putting together this example of work to share with agencies and models, take a less is more approach and focus on highlighting your ability as a photographer to create simple, clean, and consistent images. I know it is something and exciting to create very conceptual images when building your fashion portfolio. And in many ways, this is one of the best things of doing fashion photography, the ability to be creative with minimal or no boundaries. Uh, but let's take a step back and understand why model agencies do test shoots. For the models, test shoots are used as a way to expand or build their portfolio and get more experience in front of the camera. And the ultimate goal is to use these images to market the model to potential clients. This means that the images have to do a great job of highlighting the model's features while allowing the potential client to visualize the model in their brand. So you will be creating images that will showcase the model as a blank canvas. And this is one of the main reasons why high, highly conceptualized images are not necessarily favorable for model books, especially if they are in the beginning stages of their careers. This doesn't mean that you will need a massive amount of work in your book, but rather focus on a couple of shoots where you can capture strong, consistent portraits. These can be portraits of friends, family, also another great source to find models for these initial simple portfolio building tasks is social media. This is a great resource to find models that may be in a similar situation to you. They're also starting out and they're also seeking to be signed by an agency. They can also benefit from these types of images. When reaching out, be upfront and share your aiming to create simple images that will work as a foundation for a great portfolio. Now, in preparation for these shoots, make sure that you're going to the right place for inspiration. I personally use the actual modeling agency's websites as reference. There you will often find galleries for each of their models on their wall, and these are this is a great place to get examples of great minimalistic images with very little hair or makeup, uh, simple clothing, oftentimes just a t-shirt and jeans, uh, as you want the model to be as natural as possible. Tip number two, who should you be reaching out to and how do you do it? Now, depending on your location, the number of choices you may have available will vary. Like if you're in a larger market like New York, you probably have dozens if not hundreds of choices when it comes to agencies. But if you're in a smaller market like me, you may only have a handful of choices. To start out, I would suggest looking at smaller agencies or mother agencies to reach out to. Mother agents are often individuals that focus on developing models before placing them in a larger market or agencies. And these are a great starting point. As smaller agencies may have newer models that are in need of test shoots. And larger agencies oftentimes already have a dedicated group of people that they've been using for years and they normally reference to them first when it comes to test shoots. Now, when reaching out, who do you contact? This may be the trickiest part. When you visit a model agency's website, for the most part, you will find a generic contact form or email, something along the lines of info at whateveragency.com. Honestly, there is a big chance that if you reach out here or like to this generic location, 
your email may be overlooked or ignored. Uh, and this may be for numerous amount of reasons. As they can be too busy or maybe the right contact for test inquiries doesn't check that inbox. So I would suggest reaching out directly to a person whenever possible. To find the correct person takes a bit of work on your part, but it's not impossible. This is where I use a tool that I don't often hear many photographers using, and that is LinkedIn. In LinkedIn, I can literally search the terms, model agents, booking agents, anything that fits in that realm. And even in cases of smaller agencies, I can even find the agency's director. Uh, now, this gives me a direct point of contact. So by connecting with them on LinkedIn or sending a message on LinkedIn, I am talking directly to a person. Or another method that I use to get a direct point of contact is by skipping the agency directly and going straight to a model. And what I mean by this, nowadays in most agencies' websites, when you go to a model's portfolio or book on the, on the agency's website, they will include their Instagram account. Uh, so what I do is I'll go to Instagram and I'll send the model a direct message. And in that message, I say, hey, I would love to collaborate with you and do a test shoot. Who should I reach out to in your agency to get approval if we need to? And I won't say that this works 100% of the time, probably more like a 50-50 chance for me. But oftentimes the model will say, oh yeah, here, here's my agent's email address. Please reach out to them to coordinate. And that's an easy way for me to then reach out to a specific person within the agency and have a direct point of contact to start the conversation with. When writing to this person in the agency, what should you say? I would suggest you keep it simple. Start out by introducing yourself and what is your goal? As an example, I would probably say something along these lines. Hello, my name is Ru. I am a fashion photographer in the Philadelphia area and I'm working to expand my book and I would love to do some test shoot with your talent. Do you have some new faces that may be available or anybody else that may need some new work to their portfolio? Here's an example of my work. Here you can insert a link to your portfolio and if you don't have a large portfolio, I will attach a handful of images, maybe three to five images, uh, just enough to be able to highlight your skills as a photographer and show the consistency of your work. Tip number three, foster that relationship and don't be discouraged. Why do I say this? This is probably the most important part of this video. It is highly likely that the first time you work with an agency, they will provide you with some of their beginner models and they may not be too experienced. Even if some of the models were not your first choice, still do your best and don't be discouraged by this. As often, as oftentimes, this first shoot can be perceived as a trial to verify that you can deliver. Make sure to be quick with your turnaround times and be prompt with your communication, as this can lead to a very good impression. And the more effort you put into building this relationship, the more access you're gonna get within the agency. This is great, so whenever you have a personal project or more conceptualized shoot, that you would like to use someone more experienced or a very specific model, there is already an element of trust and you will likely have the flexibility to be a little more specific when requesting to work with some of their models. That's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and follow me on Instagram to keep up with my fashion photography at Ru Castro. And like always, I always appreciate your time. I'll catch you guys in the next one.